Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi everyone, good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher, how are you? Hello girls, good evening. Thank you so much for joining today's class. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How are you? Berito, nice to see you. Doris, hello. Hi. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was it? Relax. Relax. Madeline, hello. Relax. Okay, very good. Okay, so Merito, what did you do? Sure. Fue? Where did you go? Hello, girl. Thank you so much for connecting me. ¿Qué tal, Pedro? ¿Dónde fue? Where did you go? Hi, Milagro. Good evening. Hazel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, girls. How are you? How was your weekend? Okay, say it and tell me. Hi, Edith, good evening. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Did you enjoy it? Did you rest? Did you sleep? Okay, Siren Girls, what did you do? Hello, girls. Girls, me escuchan. Can you hear me? O me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking out? Hay interferencia, teacher. Cortado. Uh -huh. Permítanme un segundito, solo me desconecto de todo. Give me a second. ¿Por qué? Sí, porque igual las veo un poquito cortadas. And, and I cannot hear you. Give me a sec. Okay, okay, girls. Uh, can you hear me? Ahora sí me escuchan. Can you hear me now? Better? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, thank you. Much better. Nice, nice. Okay. Ah, okay. Sí, no, ahora sí ya se mueven, you know. <laughs> Here on my screen, se me quedó todo congelado. And I was like, what's wrong? Okay. Hi, Edith. Good uh, evening, Ava. Hello, good evening. How are you, Fatima? Hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de? How was it? Everything good? Edith, you look very fresh. <laughs> nice. You take a shower now. <laughs> oh, that's super nice. Super nice. But is it raining? ¿Está lloviendo en su casa? Is it raining? No. 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 Ah, okay. No, but today it has been very hot, right? No sé si solo yeah. en mi casa, but it has been horrible, you know? Super, super hot. All right, so thank you everybody for joining today's class. It's such a pleasure to have you. Eh, damos por finalizada la unidad número dos. Eso significa que estamos ya a mediados del módulo número dos. Excellent job so far. Super attendance. I'm so happy to have you. Always eh, very, very responsible guys and uh, super on time. So very nice job. Digamos de esa forma, because you are a super good example for everybody. <laughs> and uh, voy a pasar asistencia rapidito antes de dar inicio. I'm going to uh, call your names. So just, I would really appreciate if you can help me say in present, please. Just say present and uh, that would be super good. Okay. Okay, give me one second. 
just give me one second. Today is the fifth. All right. So I got Fatima, Fatima Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Ada Azucena. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Eh, Christian, not here. Isaac. <coughs> And uh, uh, edit, edit present. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Madeline Gabriela. Present. Thank you so much, Veronica Yesenia. Present. Thank you. And uh, let me see, Doris Aime. Present teacher. Thank you, Doris Maria Milagros. Present teacher. Thank you very much, and. Andrés. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, I saw you there. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for uh, for joining. Oh, hold on. Give me a quick second. Let me close this and let me present my screen. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second. Oh, ¿qué pasó aquí? What happened here? Okay, there we go. Okay, so welcome to class number 10. All right, today is October the 5th, 2020. So we are missing only 10 more session and we finished. A uh, part of the things that we are going to be working today on is need to and have to. Ya lo vimos la semana anterior. You got it, you know, lo maneja, así que it's super nice. Vamos a ver también un poquito un tema nuevo que es dates en ordinal numbers y cómo programar eh, citas as well. Uh, we are going to review unit number two in a very general way. So these are part of the things that we have for today. And... Uh, so let's get started, all right, with a little conversation here. And this is the one that I have. Logran ver mi pantalla, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Ver mi conversación. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, qué raro. Dice que no puedo. Okay. <laughs> Super weird today. All right, it says here, use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. So let's take a look at some of the activities that we have for the day, all right? If we have, for example, well, it says the instruction. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a person. But, no me gusta leer sola, así que, any volunteer. Thank you, Doris. Doris is going to be my volunteer my today. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, oh, Silvia. Silvia wants to participate. Super nice, Silvia. So, Silvia, you can read the part of Susan, and Doris, you can read the part of Adele. Okay. Let's start, girls. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the council? On Monday, November 20, 22, 22nd. Yes. Sorry. Good. No, don't be sorry. Very nice. What about the conference with the Mexican representative. It's on Friday, the 26th. Nice, very good girls. Thank you so much. This is a really short conversation. So if you pay attention, les preguntan que cuando son algunas reuniones. For example, when is the meeting with the consultant, okay? What about the conference with the Mexican representative? So for, Podemos hablar de, like, schedule activities here by asking this question. When is the meeting with the consultant? When is your interview? When is the um, appointment with the doctor, right? Let's take a look at this. On Monday, November 22nd. On Friday, 26th. All right. Today, for example, let's take a look at the day one more time. Today is October the 5th, all right? So here we have some specific dates teacher, before. Yes. Perdón, teacher, hágame un favor. Dígame, e Milena. Explíqueme, por favor, acerca de, los, de las fechas. November, oh. mm -hmm. eso. O sea, yes, miss, ahorita, ahorita vamos a eso. Don't worry, right now, right now. 
Okay. Yeah, but here, if you pay attention, esto lo leemos November 22nd. And this one, we read it Friday the 26th. Now, let me explain how it works. We have something called ordinal numbers. So let's, let me, let me make this a little bit smaller para poder compartirles a little bit. Ordinal numbers indican orden, right? They are used for talking about some specific things. For example, dates, las fechas, yeah? So whenever we are talking about dates, usamos ordinal numbers. ¿Cuáles son los ordinal? Uh, I believe you have seen, for example, something like this. Let me share. Let me make this bigger. Okay, for example, no, normally decimos one, pero ordinal numbers no sirven para las fechas, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces, en vez de decir de one, voy a indicar una fecha. ¿Cómo lo hago? Al uno le agrego st. ¿Y qué representa st? Que yo digo first. First, and let me make this in a different color. So this is the st, first. Okay, for example, si tengo una cita el primero de mayo, May 1st, okay, y le voy a poner ST al número porque son las últimas dos letras, right? I got this one. This one is ND. Exactly, very good. And this is called second, okay? So second because, let's take a look, ND. So we got first, we got second. Okay, super weird. Let me make it there. Okay, then we have the next one that is number three. Pero como estamos hablando de ordinal numbers, this is going to be third. Exactly. So this is going to be third, first, second, and the third. Let me get this in a different color. So you can take a look at the last letters. So, si vemos, there is an order. Okay, first, second, and third. Cuando hablamos de lugares, oh, I'm first, I'm second, posiciones. So we are going to use ordinal numbers for this, okay? Now we get the next one. Con los siguientes números, with the following numbers, hay una diferencia. There is a little bit of difference. Porque vamos a utilizar TH, okay? We are going to use TH para los que nos faltan. So we got four. Oh. Yeah, so we got fourth. Let me get this in a different color. So fourth, all right? So we got first, second, third, fourth. Y el resto de, num de números, uh, the rest of the numbers, solo le voy a agregar TH. And that's it, all right? I got, for example, this one. Cambia un poquito la pronunciación, right? The pronunciation changes a little bit. So we have to be like paying a little attention to this. But here, tenemos TH. So we have to remember, ellos representan las últimas dos letras del número, right? And that's the way we go. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 9th, 10th, 11th. Y solo lo único que vamos haciendo para cambiar y para saber que es ordinal es agregar el Ok, solo es como And that's it. <laughs> ok, so, everybody, hasta el número 5. Let's repeat. First. First. Third. Second. 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 Third. 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 Ok, ok. Third. Fourth. 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 Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. Eighth. Ninth. Ninth. Tenth. 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 <laughs> Remember, vamos a agregarle ese sonidito al final, ¿ok? So, cuando volvemos, cuando esto cambia, when does this change one more time? So, this is going to change cuando regresemos al 21, right? When we come one more time to this number that is, volvemos otra vez y se fijan, 21. 
So, the last number is number one. En number one no le agregamos TH, pero le agregamos first, ST. So, one more time, we say 20 or 20, right? 20 or 21st. Y otra vez, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Okay? Y como el calendario llega hasta el 31, so the difference, volvemos, you know, el último número that we are going to pay attention to is 30 and then 31st. So, 31. 31st. And that's it. So, numbers are really easy, okay, because the biggest uh, changes are these. But we have to remember that we use them. Let me make this a little bit. Let me just change a little color here. Okay, so uh, the only thing we have to remember is las últimas letras, right? They represent the last sound. So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Si quiero decir mi cumpleaños, hey guys, when is your birthday? So first, second, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, yeah, uh, 31st, porque son fechas. Um, I have to go to the Seguro Social on May the uh, 15th, all right, the 16th. So, remember, vamos a agregar ese sonidito. So, do me a quick second, please. Siguiendo esta, esta orden, try to follow this uh, order, all right. And on your notebook, intentemos completar el calendario. Try to complete it. Uh, you can type it, all right. Uh, you can use your dictionary. Si tienen uh, dudas con cómo se escribe alguna palabra, algún número específico, all right. Or if you have questions with the pronunciation, please let me know. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. Solamente vamos a hacer del 1 al 31, right. We already got some numbers here. Y recordemos, 21st. 22nd, 23rd, a los demás solo les agregamos TH. Ok. Five minutes. I'll give you five minutes. Write it on your notebook. Escríbalo en el cuaderno. Write it. Write it on your notebook. Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con eso? Do you have any question with ordinal numbers? ¿O estamos bien? Are we okay? Are we good? Yo siento un poquito complicado esto, teacher, pero me imagino de que poquito a poco uno lo va manejando, creo, ¿no? Y es milagro. De hecho, ahorita que usted los escriba, usted va a darse cuenta de, de los números. Uh -huh. Y va a decir, ah, ok, así se dice este número. So, eh, let's write it. Y si en algún momento usted se queda como, like, stuck, si se queda como, decimos, trabada, let us know, ok. Let us know, para que todos podamos ayudar o en, en, you know, help each other. That is very important. Teacher, a question. Mm, yes, Andres. Only fifth, seconds and fifth change that después del 20, ¿eh? Eh, Yeah. Well, de hecho, solamente son estos. Eh, the first, second, third. Luego todos van con TH, 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 TH. Cambio un poquito el spelling, ya van a darse cuenta por ahí. Y luego con, otra vez, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, y luego TH, 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 y luego 31st. Y hasta ahí termina okay. el calendario. Uh -huh. Nice, thanks. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Remember, you have some resources, you have uh, in your houses, internet, you have dictionaries. So uh, if you have any question, pueden utilizarlos, I mean, with a spelling, so you can double check, no, no worries. There is no problem.
Let me know, guys, when you finish, please. Eh, Sandra, ahorita le reviso. Let me check, let me check, because acabo de ver su mensaje. Give me one second. Sandra. Sandra, yo sí la veo. I see your camera on, pero Sandra, yo creo que la tiene al revés, fíjese. Yo creo que la tiene hacia, hacia el, eh, no hacia tiene la como la de. selfie. Ah, va. Voy a ver aquí cómo lo arreglo. Yo la veo apagada. Déjeme ver. Ahorita le reviso, Sandra. A mí me sale apagada. Sandra, Sandra. ¿Y Sandra, ¿dónde está? Se me perdió. <ríe> Let me see. No, Sandra, lo que sucede creo es que eh, si está en el teléfono, está la opción, ¿verdad? De, de como darle vuelta a la cámara. Entonces, cuando usted la enciende, yo veo, pero lo que está enfrente de usted, no le veo a usted. Entonces, Ajá, busque, busque la, la camarita, como cuando usted le da vuelta. Ajá, eso voy a arreglar ahorita. Tendría que aparecerle, déjenme ver. Tendría que aparecer. No me tendría que aparecer eh, apagada, así, Ajá. con el chequecito. Fíjese que yo la veo encendida ahorita. Pero no veo su selfie, sino que veo como enfrente. Ahora sí la veo. ¡Ay, la acabo de ver! Ahora sí. ¡Yes! <ríe> Ahora sí la veo. Teacher. Hello. Gracias, teacher. Welcome. I have, I have a question. Yes, my letter, tell me. Por ejemplo, el 13. El 13. Yes. Eh, 13 y el TH al final. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lo mismo el 14, 14 y TH al final. Y es, exacto. Hay unos números que sí le van a cambiar. Por ejemplo, cuando se tenga 20, se le cambia la Y. Mm -hmm. All right. Creo que ya llegaron por ahí algunas. So let us know. ¿Qué número han encontrado que es different? Sí. Van a encontrar algunos numeritos que usted dice, ah, esto se ve raro, ok. I mean, and it's fine, it's totally fine. I'll give you one more minute. Oh, no. No, I'll give you one more. Les voy a dar un minutito. Hello, tell me. Okay. Why? Um, 
Hay, hay un cambio del, del uh, 20th y 20, 21st. Uh -huh. ¿Qué cambio encontró, Miss? Let me see. En la escritura. 20, 21st, 20. Oh, yeah. Porque, porque oh. Miss comienza con... Es como volver a comenzar. Y si usted le pone atención, if you pay attention there... Que me hace If you pay attention, es lo que les, les mencionaba, que hay unos números que van a notar que son diferentes. They are a little bit different. So, o sea, que el, el 20, el 20, eh, es va 20 y en vez de la Y le ponemos la I latina y el TH. ¿Así es? Yes, 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 very good. Ok, thank you. Ya les voy a mostrar cómo son los números. So, me avisan si ya los tienen. Let me know if you are ready, guys. Yo tengo hasta el 20, teachers. Ok, hasta el 20. Vaya, no se preocupe. Everybody ready? Do you need more time? Teacher. Hello. En el 9 simplemente se deja como 9, pero se le quita la E, pero en el 19 sí se le incluye como 9. Yes, that is correct, Miss. Ok. That is correct. <coughs> Y en 11, 12, cambia eh, la, la escritura. The spelling, yes. The spelling, yes, guys. Eso es lo que vamos a descubrir right now. Yes. Can I show you my screen? No, not yet. <laughs> Okay, okay, no problem. Let me know when you are ready so I can show you my screen. Uh, Guillermo, I see Guillermo has a question there. Eh, no sé si alguien ya le contestó. Because eh, I say, thank you. Thanks a lot. Did they answer your question? Okay. <laughs> okay, so no problem, Guillermo. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, Veronica is sharing the answer as well. So thank you, Vero. Okay, everybody. So I guess you got like some minutes. Uh, let me share my screen. Solo comparen, just compare that your number you know is what we got right here so these are the numbers take a look at the numbers we got from 1 to 31st so solamente comparen just compare if you got the same you can take a picture if you think it's Teacher, porque no, no lo había puesto. Ay, no, para complicado, ¿no? no, para que lo descubrieran por ustedes y se dieran cuenta de algunos cambios. That was the idea. Okay. 
O sea, los voy a corregir todos. <laughs> no, no necessarily, no necessarily. For example, what is something, uh, remember the idea is to learn the, the ordinal oh. numbers y que no se nos olviden. For example, Doris said something important about number nine. Le quitamos la E, all right? We eliminate E and then mm -hmm. CH, okay? Any other number? Algún número que les haya causado curiosidad and you say, wow, this is different? Uh, Andres, for example, mentioned number 12. Yes, Andres, that's totally different. 13, solamente es la TH, right? 11, only TH. Another number que haya sido like different for you? ¿A dónde dice 13? El 13. Yes, 13. Oh, teacher, en, en el número 9 sí me fui. Ah, ok, so, so ahora no se le va a olvidar que no lleva a eso. That, that's the sí. idea, to discover, discover on your own. Uh -huh. So, if you pay attention, for example, 20, eh, as one of you said, yes, that's uh -huh. totally different. Y le cambiamos la Y, and then IE, and then we say 20, we have 30, yes. so the spelling is different, right? Ah, igual el 12 también no lleva la E. Exactly, number 12 doesn't have it. Ni la B ni la E, solo es 12. 12. Yes. Teacher. Yes, miss. ¿Cómo se lee el 12? 12. 12. Eh, es como el 6. 6 is very difficult to say 6. <laughs> Suena super raro. Entonces, six. se puede pronunciar igual. You can say six. Well, and six. Sin ningún cambio. And it's okay. Es de las pocas well. excepciones that we got there. Pero es que el 12 lleva una F por ahí, ¿no? Yes. Por eso yes. se menciona cuál. Elizabeth. Oh, twelve. 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 Yeah, solamente el sonido de F. Fifteen. Thank you. Esos son Welcome. los números más complicados, teacher. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, everybody. So let's pronounce. Let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. First. 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 Second. 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 Third. 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 Fourth. 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 Fifth. 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 Sixth. 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 Like normal. Sixth. Six. Six. Seven. 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 Okay, here, lleva el sonido de la TH. Entonces, remember, la TH es como un... <laughs> Van a sacar la lengua. Es. Es. Seventh. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Seven. Yes. Seventh. Seven. 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 Eight. 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 Ninth. 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 Tenth. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Well, guys, one little recommendation. Con esos números es más fácil si usted sonríe. If you smile, los números comen más fácil. Tampoco like exaggerate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's easier, okay? Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen, Twenty six, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty nine, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, twenty first, thirty 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 first, para birthdays y para todo lo que sea como programado para indicar una posición también. First, second, third. So we use them. We use them. Para pasos, also, we use them. Now let's take a look at the next part. Here we have the month of the year. Okay. 
So here we have like all the different months of the year. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a leer los meses? Who wants to help me read the month? Milena, so, please, go ahead. Pero me corrige, por favor. Yes, of course, of course. Everybody, everybody. Listen to Milagro. You can pronounce or you can ask questions. Milagro, go ahead. El más difícil para mí de pronunciar es febrero. Okay, go ahead. No, no worries, no worries. January. Okay for you. Mm -hmm. February. Mm -hmm. March. Mm -hmm. April. Yes. May. Mm -hmm. June. Okay. July, July, yes. July, July. Oh, oh, August. Very good. September. Yes. October. Okay. November. December. Very nice job. Excellent. That was very, very good. All right. Only let's check this one. May. 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 Yes, this is May. The rest are super, super May. good. I like the pronunciation of this one. Guys, everybody, May. let's repeat. August. 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 Exactly. Very good. April. 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 May. 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 June. June. July. July. Not, not Julie, right? <laughs> this is July. July. That's July. July. Exactly. July. Okay. Now. ¿Cómo organizo? How can I organize las fechas? How can I put together el mes y el día? First, siempre el mes. We are going to say the month. Then, decimos el día. All right? So, let's take a look. Here we have, make a list of the most important celebrations in El Salvador. For example, February 14th. Okay? That is going to be St. Valentine's Day. <sighs> I don't know if you celebrate it. I don't. Okay. <laughs> but it's a message for that day. It's a celebration. It's an important date in El Salvador. So first, el mes y luego el día. February 14th. Remember, son fechas. So we use uh, ordinal numbers. Okay. Um, can you tell me another one? Can you tell me another important date in El Salvador? September 15th. September. Okay. September. So, September the 15th. Uh huh. And this is? Independence Day. Uh -huh. Independence. Independence Day. Yes. Normally, como es el día de la independencia, we are going to use apostrophe for this, okay? So, St. Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, etc. So, everybody, vamos a trabajar en grupos. We are going to be working as a group. Vamos a hacer una lista of the most important celebrations in El Salvador. Pueden incluir las que ustedes consideren adecuadas and the ones that you celebrate as well. Si no celebran igual, no hay problema. Try to make a list either way. So, do you like celebrations, guys? ¿Les gustan las fiestas? Do you like celebrations, parties? No. Yes. 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 Okay, okay. Nice. So, you may know a lot of them. So, everybody, let's go to the groups, please. Let's join them. You got five minutes, and then we come back. So everybody, let's get going. Teacher, y esto, esta lámina que usted nos puso allí aparece en el manual. Mm, en el manual aparece de forma diferente, fíjese. Oh. Esta sí le aparece exactamente así como la ve. Estos creo que no están. I think they are not. Pero le puede tomar una captura y usted sí, luego sí, la puede sí. imprimir. Sí, ahorita le tomé una, una captura. Lo único okay. es que no, la, no me sale muy bien. No sé por qué. Eh, pero puede tomarle una captura con su pantalla. Con, está en la computadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale, si está en la computadora, hay una teclita pequeñita que dice PRNT, casi en la esquinita. PRNT SCR. La logra ver. Es pequeñita. Es la, a mí me parece la penúltima en la parte superior. Es que... Mm. En el mouse, revisa, perdón, revisa su teclado. Take a look at your keyboard. Entonces es como una teclita allá chiquitita. Dice e -S, e S C. No, en la otra esquina, en la otra. 
-huh. Ahí dice... Delete. 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 A, a la delete. parte de delete, ¿qué le parece? P -R -T. Va, S -S -T. Esa. Presionenla una vez. Ajá. Ok. Ahora, ¿habrá un documento de Word o un documento de cualquiera? De Microsoft Word. O de Excel o algo que tenga abierto. Ay, teacher, mejor no. No voy a hacer que, no, 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 no manejo muy bien la compu. Mejor me voy al grupo. <risa> <risa> o, o, o podemos hacer, ay, no tengo, no tengo activado ahorita. Eh, mm, sí, see. porque ahorita le tomé una captura, sí, con, con mi teléfono, ¿verdad? Right. Si no, déjenme ver si se los puedo compartir dentro de, dentro de la plataforma, oiga. Déjeme ver si me permite subir fotos ah, bien, y yo bien. se la subo. Uh -huh. Está bien, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Como Margarita. Vuelto a dejarlas. March, eh, March, March 22, no, March, el día de la secretaria, ¿qué, qué fecha es? 17. No, es el 26 de abril, 26. creo yo. 26 de abril. The Christmas Day. December New Year. January first. Cruz, ¿cómo es? Cruz. ¿Cómo? I don't know. Mm. Eh, ya te digo. Cross. ¿Cómo? Cross. Cross. C R O S S. Ah, oh, okay. Cross day. Vamos. Cruz. Cross day. C R O S S. Maybe thing and the news days, no? What? What? May fifteen the news days. Mayo quince día de la enfermera. Yeah. North Day. North, yeah, North, North Day. Day. North Day. December 20. ¿Qué otra fecha tienen? Yo tengo May 10th. June. Mother, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. June. Eh, 17th. Father's Day. Father's Day. Mm -hmm. November 2nd. Memorial Day. Eh, oh. No le escucho. <laughs> ¿Cuál día? Father's Day. Yes. Es 70 June, ¿verdad? John 70, 70. 
November 2nd, uh, Memorial Day. Yes. September 15th, uh, 15th, Independence Day. Uh, October 1st. Yes, Children's Kiss Day. Kiss Day. O October Thirty one, nothing. No, Halloween. Yes. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should celebrate it. Y el 5 de noviembre lo ponemos. What, what is the celebration? November 5th. <inaudible> El primer grito de la independencia, 5 de noviembre. I didn't know. That's new for me. Eh, quiero ver. Teacher, una pregunta. Por ejemplo, cuando es Semana Santa, no es una fecha específica, uh -huh. eh, porque cada año cambia, la, cambia el día. En ese caso, ¿cómo se...? Yeah, we call it the Holy Week. So you Holy just week. say Holy Week, yeah, or some people say Easter, because es como el, oh my goodness, how do you call it? Es Pascua. Pascua. Ajá, exactly, exactly. So Easter, but we can call it Holy Week instead of being specific, porque no cae la misma fecha, right? Uh -huh, so Holy Week is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Welcome. Eh, y día, yeah. día de los muertos, Dead Days. You can say the November. day of the dead. November 2nd. The November, yeah, November uh -huh. the 2nd is Day of the Dead for us. Some people call it Memorial, but Memorial Day is different. Memorial Day. Say, we can say Day of the Dead, porque Memorial Day is a, una celebración por los soldados caídos en batalla in USA. So it's different. It's different. Mm. Mm -hmm. For us, it's o sea, Day aquí, of the aquí Dead. Sería... Day of the Dead. Yeah, exactly. Así. That's Day. the way. Dead. Dead. Es al revés. Dead. Dead. Uh -huh. D-E-A-D. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Day of the Dead. Seventeen Father's Day. Empecemos el de enero para recordar. ¿En enero qué hay? There are, remember that there are a lot of celebrations. Like we have like... Day. The Doctor's Day, the Secretary Day, the Accountant's Day. Uh, when is your day, Madeline? May 17th. Ah, okay, okay. So you have a day. My... Uh, Veronica, and your and yours? Tienen una fecha to celebrate. Yeah, um, 13th. January 30. January 30. January 30. Like uh -huh. 30. Like 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 30.
No, birthday? que le había entendido con, ajá, mi, my birthday. Pero, oh, pero that's your birthday. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. No, but you're good. So, Jenna, what is your occupation? January, you said. No, the thing oh. is that, the thing is that in El Salvador, pero, eh, algunos empleados tienen como el día de celebración, right? For example, oh, in my oh. case, is I'm a teacher, so it's, eh, uy, my goodness. June 20, <laughs> June 22nd. Uh -huh, so that's June 22nd. In the case of Madeline, that's eh, May, you said. May, yes. May, May the... 17th. Okay, so May the 17th. Uh, Caesar? Vero, are you an engineer? Uh huh. Ah, I didn't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero Google no en el día, día del ingeniero ah, en El Salvador. Sí, no sé qué día es. It's on, wait, it's on September. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember. I just know that at US hay una magna celebración for the engineer day. <laughs> But I don't remember the okay. day. Día del uh, it is the, the, the uh, industrial engineer is the August 17th. August, ah, okay. What? Caesar, August, August Wait, what happened? <laughs> August, uh, uh, I mean, Caesar, are you an engineer as well? Yes. What type of engineer? Yes, in, in industrial engineer. Oh, you're an industrial engineer. So your My day is that. August, Vero, and you too? August, August 17th. August 17th. Vero, are you an industrial engineer too? Yeah. Oh, so the same day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just share your occupations. Okay, Milagro, what about you? No, but Mi Milagro, it's every day. <laughs> Milagro, you got your business, right? Business Woman's Day. Uh, there is none, but, but she can celebrate it every day. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Day. So, uh, yeah, th there is not a specific day. Okay. So, we agreed on that. Yeah. Very nice. Guys, I'll give you two more minutes, okay? So keep on practicing it, and I'll see you in a second. King days. King days. Dios, ya reyes. Hi, guys. Did you Hi, children. Did you make a list? Are you ready? Ready. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I just got a question. Do you have a day? Is there like a day for you? For example, in the case of Sandra and I, we are teachers. And that is on June the 22nd, right? So because it's teacher's day. What about you guys? Is there a day for your occupation, for your job? May, May 15th. Make new day, new day. Ah, that's for the nurse and the doctor, Eva. When is the doctor's Maybe day? July, July 14. July 13, one three. July 13. Ah, 14. Okay, so July 14. Okay. Edith, what about you? Uh, I am supervisor. I no remember. Uh, the, the date but but is there a day but are you in the process is there a day yes es como día del vendedor i don't know are you in the is there a I day know, yes i no remember that day <laughs> wait let me check in this it moment out. But it's only in El Salvador or internationally? Mm, I don't know. Mm, because here it says, it says 26 de abril, April the 26th? No. No, uh, this is secretary day. Oh, well. So in this April. Mm -hmm. I just have, yeah, this is in Peru, April the 29th. Maybe not, right? I don't know in El Salvador. We have to investigate. <laughs> We will have to investigate. Andres and Elizabeth, what about you guys? Mm, I don't know. No That's... idea. What do you well, do, Andres? The student of our 
uh, sales systems. Sales assistant. Know. So maybe the I same day CIA. that Edith mentions that is on sales uh -huh, and vendors. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. do you have a day? Uh, bueno, yo soy sales assistant. Uh -huh. Do you have a specific day or a, a day to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. De repente están celebrando ahí y me acuerdo. Ah, okay. So then it's like, hey, let's eat. <laughs> And you Hoy en día. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, everybody, time is over. Let's go back. Let's go. Hi guys, and thank you so much for coming back. I guess we, oh my goodness, we are 19. Casi tenemos full house. It's almost, almost there. Eh, guys, solo le voy a pasar attendance one more time. Eh, algunos que, que me hacían falta before. So, solamente me ayudan. Please give me a verbal confirmation. Me dicen eh, present, please. And help me with your camera. <coughs> Give me a quick second. Hi. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, so I have Guillermo. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, Christian. Isaac. Isaac. Está por acá, creo que lo vi por ahí. Allí está la camarita, pero a ver si está. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Thank se you. ha levantado quizás. Sí, probablemente se levantó. Thank you. Luz. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Hello. Hola. Nice to hear you. Thank you, thank you. I got uh, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Sandra Patricia. Present. Thank you. My sister is laughing porque también se llama Sandra Patricia. <laughs> so she's like present. <laughs> uh, Silvia Girón. Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Uh, Sandra Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Gerson David. Present. Hey, Gerson. Good evening. Hi. I got... Sorry for coming late. Oh, no worries. It's imp the important thing is you're here. Thank you for coming. Uh, Jennifer Hueso, creo que ve Jennifer por ahí. Present. Thank you, Jennifer. And uh, Cesar. Present. Thank you so much, Cesar. Alguien no he marcado, I haven't. Oh, me. Isaac. <laughs> me? Who said me? Wait. Um, no, Doris. Chicas. Oh, Doris, no, no le pasé anteriormente. Milagro, como ah, no, la marqué yo, antes. Esta, sí. ¿no? <ríe> no, ya la marqué. Sí. <ríe> no, I got Fátima, Ada, Guillermo. Sí, chica, ya las había marcado. Ya, okay. I got Doris already. Yes, you were Verónica también. Mary, too. Solo A mí no me mencionó, teacher. Como no, Milagro, en la anterior. Oh. <ríe> In the previous one. <ríe> Okay. Yes, yes, girl, in the previous one. Okay, uh, so I'll come back to you in a couple of seconds. Okay, everybody, so tell me, in January, ¿cuáles son las celebraciones de January? Do you have any list? Do you have any idea here? January 1st, mm -hmm. New Year. New Year, okay. Yeah, so New Year, any the, other? January... Uh, 
Uh -huh. Es la, de, la firma del acuerdo de paz. No sé ah, 16th. Yes, it's true. Yeah, 16th. Okay, thank But you. In English, this the the peace agreement. Yeah, the peace agreement. Yeah, in El Salvador. Okay. Uh, so, what what is the most important celebration for you in El Salvador? May first World's Day. Mers, uh, so May May the first, the Labor's uh -huh. Day. Primero de mayo, día del trabajo. Mm -hmm. Labor's, Day. Labor's Day. Okay. Day. Okay. So May the first. <coughs> That's the most important. Why? Why Eva? May tenth. May tenth. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> Yes. Eh, ok, ok. November 2nd, Gerson. Yes, eh, Cesar. Eh, nosotros eh, pusimos eh. May 1st Works Day. ¿Es correcto o no? Labor Day. It is ok, day. but we can say Labor's. So Labor's Labor, Day. Labor. Yeah, I'm going to write it in the chat. Labor's Day. Es el día del, del trabajo, we call it. Labor's Spanish Day. Day. October. Well, Wait, 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 no puede escribir, hold on. Labor. No vemos la pantalla, no vemos su pantalla. No, mis, eh, ah. yo, no me permite eh, compartirla. Zoom, pero está en el chat. Ah. Yes, Labor's Day. Mm -hmm. oh. Labor's Day. So, Labor's Day is an important day. ¿Cuál es el más importante para ustedes? What is the most important day for you guys? My birthday. Yes. Your birthday. <laughs> When is your birthday? Bye. May 17th, 17th, 17th. May 16th. May 17th. May 16th. Okay. Yeah. okay. August, August 5 and 6th. Why? <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Because vacation. Okay, okay. That's all right. Fatima, what about you? The most important celebration for you. December. December 31st. December 31st. No. Oh, 25th. Okay. So Christmas. Okay. Christmas. That's okay. Sandra, Patricia, uh, Miss Muñoz, what about you? Uh, uh, May 26th birthday. Your birthday. Yes. Oh, okay. So it is your birthday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think the most important celebrations for me are vacation. <laughs> so August 5th, 6th, Holy Week, and all of them definitely. Okay. Okay, everybody, so talking about these celebrations, let's move on with the next activity. And here we have, write a table with your weekly obligations and activities. Hagamos la de esta semana, this week, all right? For example, today is fifth, then we have sixth, then we have seventh, okay? Let's try to make like a little table, all right? Hagamos un, como un cuadrito of the activities that you have for this week. All right, um, so how can we do this? Look, I'm gonna do something similar here so you can follow my example, all right? Uh, normally we have, when we are talking about these activities, we have a time, we have a specific dates, etc. So let me just add it here. two, four, six, seven. Okay. So imagine, for example, that this is my table, all right? And I have, for example, October, oh my goodness, we're in October. October 5th, October 6th, October 7th, October 8th, October 9th, October 10th, we got October 11th. So we are going to write like a list of activities that you have for this week, your weekly obligations. Well, today is gone, right? But for example, tomorrow, uh, so I got to work, okay, from 7 to, oh, 
from 7 to 10. <laughs> So I have to work, for example, from 7 to 10 p.m. All right. And uh, I have, like, not too much time. October the 7th. For example, imagine that in the morning, I have to go to the city hall. So at 9, go to the city hall. Okay. Then at 10, from 10 to 10 p.m., I got to work. So, vamos a hacer like some activities que tengan que hacer, si es posible con el tiempo, like with the specific time in which you have to complete some activities. Of course, acá podemos inventar, you can like make up, you can create, and you can add more activities that you normally do. Uh, for example, here at 7 a.m., you can say, oh, at 7 a.m., I have breakfast with my friend, with my mom, with my sister, etc. At 8 a.m. I have to go to the supermarket, for example. So, uh, not necessarily, not necessarily van a ser verdad. Not necessarily they have to uh, be totally true, right? So you can uh, create, create and invent new activities. I will give you five minutes. Y cuando lo tengamos, when you have it ready, let me know. Remember, the idea is to complete all of these spaces, right? So you have to complete October 9th, 10th, and 11th.
please let me know when you finish. Let me know when you're ready, guys. Uh, one more minute. Down. Thank you, Guillermo. Down, teacher. Thank you, Andres. Okay, everybody, so let me explain what we are going to do with this little chart. So, todos tenemos, you know, completado from October 5th as October 11th. Okay, you have here some specific activities that you have to do during the week. So, what do we have to do? Super easy. We have to schedule some meetings. Okay, so schedule meetings. Como vamos a hacer, how are we going to schedule meetings? First, vamos a preguntarle al compañero si está disponible ese día a esa hora. All right? So, how can we do this? This, uh, you can ask. Can we, uh, you can say like, hey, friend, hey, hey, friend, right? You can say something like, hey, Jennifer, hey, Edith, hey, friend, hello, my friend, okay? And then, can we... And we meet on all right so because we are very we are being very specific vamos a decir la fecha can we meet on october uh, 5th okay at so y les pueden mencionar el espacio donde ustedes tienen libre can we meet on october well it's fire but so el 5th just the over so for example can we meet on october the 7th at a 1 p.m. Okay, so what are the possibilities? This is my invitation, all right, because I need to schedule one meeting. So you can say yes or you can say no, depending on the things that you gotta do. If you can say yes, you can say yes, of course. Yes, of course. Okay, si, sí, claro. You can say yes, sure. Okay. Es como sí, claro. You can say yes, absolutely. Okay. So, todas son como afirmativas. To all of them, you're saying yes, let's do it. Okay. You can say yes, let's do it. Y, y this is in case que ustedes tengan disponible a la misma hora, the same day. What happens, guys, si no tienen disponible? What happens si ustedes ya tienen something else to do? You can say, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Y ahí le pueden decir qué actividad ustedes ya tienen agendado. All right. For example, imagine you ask me guys, hey teacher, can we meet? Can we meet on October at 7 a.m.? So, ayer vimos need, perdón, la semana anterior vimos need to and have to. Entonces, yo ya tengo organizadas las actividades and I can tell you, no, sorry. At 7, I have to get breakfast with my friend. Okay. 
So at seven, um, so I'm sorry, I cannot. Entonces vamos a combinar todo. So no, I'm sorry, I have to go to the supermarket. No, I'm sorry, I have to, uh, I don't know, work. I have to uh, go to the dentist. I have to go to the hospital, all right? Pero usted también puede hacer como un pushing y le puede preguntar, vaya, si no puede, October 7th. What about, okay, what about, y qué te parece, what about October 8th? Y usted revisa, yes, of course, okay. Entonces vamos a hacer agendas. We are going to schedule meetings with as many people, con tantos compañeros como podamos. Si el compañero en la segunda pregunta también le dice, no, no puedo, all right, usted siga. Ok, and what about, so what about, usted le puede cambiar la fecha here. Ok, so what about October 9th, ok, at 8 p.m. So you can say, oh no, because uh, on October 8th, ok, I have English classes, so <laughs> from 8 to 10, okay? So we gotta schedule some activities. Guys, are you following me? Me están siguiendo? Yes. Yes? Any yes. question? No. No? So, vamos, vamos a hacer, we are going to schedule meetings, remember. So, vamos a comenzar a preguntarle al compañero, and uh, la idea, guys, Es tener tantas meetings, somos 19, we are 19. Al menos 10 meetings que tengamos sería super cool. Revisen su agenda, revisen lo, la, las actividades que ustedes ya programaron, ok? Y que no choque, right? That is the activity, that is the idea and the activity. So you can mention the date, remember, primero el, di, el mes, on October 7th. And we gotta use also ordinal numbers. You can say yes, or you can say no. No, I'm sorry. I have to do this. No puedo hacerlo. I cannot have a meeting. Are we good? Are we ready to practice? Yes. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, everybody, super good. I'm going to send you to some groups, okay? And as soon as we finish, los voy a mover. I'm going to rotate para que puedan entrevistar a más compañeros. So you can interview more people. So, se pueden programar una meeting con tres o cuatro al mismo tiempo, super good. Solo revisen que no les choquen, that is the idea. Like a very, como una reunión real, like a real meeting you have with friends, ok? Que cuesta programar with some friends, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's try to do it, everybody. Get please in groups. Now, let's go ahead y luego lo roto. Then I'm gonna switch you up. Comenzamos. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, hey, friend. Uh, hey, Doris. Can you meet on October 6th in the... <laughs> can you meet on October 6th? No, I have I feeling down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. And if if you can 
October 6th, you can meet on October 8th in the afternoon. No, oh yes. No, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Thanks. <laughs> it's the <Okay>. last, <laughs> it's the last time I invited you. <laughs> okay? Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Ok, Doris, pregúntale a otra persona. Hi, Fred. Can we meet on Saturday? October. Isaac, don't accept. Hey, Isaac. Isaac. Hi. Hi. Can we meet on October 10th at 12? O'clock? No, I'm sorry. I have to. Um, <laughs> With the hair on. <laughs> take care of my grandmother. No, no, no. <laughs> With me, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Bye, Bye. <Adel>. Okay. <laughs> you can ask Luz. Maybe she's available. Is that for Luke? Hi. Ask uh, Luz, Isaac. Ask, Ask her. <laughs> hey, Doris. Um, can we meet on October 9? Yes, of course, Luz. Doris said yes to her. Can you believe it? <laughs> yes, I say. Okay, and what's happened? Hey, Herson, can we meet to October 10th? Uh, 10th. Yes, of course. Okay, she... Uh, it's correct. Yeah, this meeting. Okay. Hi, Fatima, question. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we... Can we... No. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Can Um, uh, how lunch? Hey guys, uh, um, I, I, I rotated, I rotated some people, so you can just continue, just continue, no worries. Yeah, change agenda that with all place me. <laughs> Only question, uh, Fatima. Can we uh, yeah, meet? Try to make. Can we meet on the October tenth? And October nine. Guillermo, can you um, can we meet on October twelfth at ten a.m. Yeah. <laughs> 
<risa> casi, casi no se le escucha, yo creo que son los audífonos. Que que cuál que, no, que, que le repita dice Silvia yo que cuál que cuál día dijo dijo él <risa> October y le That was fun. How, how was that Silvia? <risa> Guillermo, he Guillermo says no October 11. Pero... I am. Si veo que tiene activado el micrófono, right? Ya, yeah, aparece activado. But... Guillermo, no se escucha. Can you listen to us? Probando está los audífonos. Ajá, sí, no, no se le escucha. Ok, girl, so in the meantime, in the meantime, how was that, Silvia? Guillermo. <laughs> that was fun. Ok, so you Silvia. Can... Tal vez se le escucha hoy. Guillermo. Hola, Guillermo. Guillermo no se escucha. Okay. Pues no tuvo problema. Él sí no se escucha. Él, no no se él sí no se escucha. escucha. Guillermo, y si escriba en el chat. O si, si quita el micrófono y lo hace solamente con el speaker. ¿De la computadora directo? No. ¿Ahora me escucha? Ahora sí. Sí, sí. ¿Qué dicen? ¿Qué dicen? Silvia, repite. Repite, por favor. Guillermo. Listo. Ok. Eh, Luz, can we meet on... October 8 en 10. October me dijo. October 8. October 8. 10 a.m. Eh, I'm sorry. I go to I I I have go to work. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Avilen. Hello. Avilen, can we meet? Can we meet on October seventh at uh, three p.m. Yes, of course. Yes. yes. Excellent. We can take a coffee. <laughs> oh, very yes. nice. Very nice. So you got one. Guys, ¿cuántas llevan? How many do you have so far? Five? One, two? Tres. Okay, you got three? Three. Three? Herson? I have one. Only three? Only Zero. <laughs> no, really? Nobody wants to go to, to meet with no. her son. Luz, how many? Solamente dos. Okay, you got two. Avilen, how many? How many uh, meet? Dos. How many meet? Two. You got how two as well. Teachers? At least ten. Mm. Necesitan hacer diez. Así que convénzanos. Yeah. Continue pushing. What about? Yes. What about October 10th? What about October 9th? What about? So push them. Okay, uh, give me one second. Lo voy a switchar. Lo voy a cambiar de grupo. I'm going to switch you up. Give me just one okay. quick second. Okay, okay. Hello, Cesar. Hello, good evening. 
Hello, Edith. César, okay. no te oigo. Eh, Sandra, can we meet on eh, October 6 en 2 p.m.? Fix. October yes. Fix. Yes. 2, 2 p.m. Yes. Uh, I, I, I am tutorials. Can't. Okay. And Doris? Tell me. Can we meet on October 6 and 2 p.m.? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Cesar, can we can we meet on October 10th? Baja el volumen. Le echaste a. Mira. Mira. Yes. Yes, I can. Me, with me, I'll, I have lunch with me. Oh, yes, yes, I have, I have to have Bien. Yes. Yes. Okay. Andres, can we meet on October 11th at night? And go to the dinner. Go to the what? Dinner. Cena. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Can go. Of course. Okay. Attend that agenda. Andrés. Hi, Abby. I came meeting on October 10th uh, at 3. Okay, in the afternoon, let's go to the cup of coffee and, uh, and uh, cookies. <laughs> okay. October 8th sería Sandra Patricia. Yes. Milagro. Ya la vimos. Milagros. Está calladita, no quiero pronunciar. No es absolutely. No, sí. Bueno, yes, of course. Okay. That's nice. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> cuesta. Absolutely. Pero practicalo, practicalo, sácalo, sácalo. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh, exactly, absolutely. absolutely. Or you can say, yes, sure. Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Okay, girls, so do you have a meeting? Do you all have a meeting? Yes. ¿Cuántas reuniones tienen? How many meetings do you have so far? Four. Yo four. four. Okay, Fatima, how many? Five. How many? Three. Five. Oh, five. Very good. Ada, how many meetings do you have? Three. Okay, so let's try to, to get more. Hold on a second. Madeline. Oh, what's wrong with the Madeline? Okay, me, give me just a second. Le voy a mandar more people. I'm going to switch you up. Necesito que al menos lleguen hasta siete. At least get to seven meetings, please. Get to seven meetings. So let's go. Nos seguimos, Erson. Bueno, seguimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. No problem. <laughs> eh, Guillermo, can you meet me on uh, October 10th in the afternoon? And the afternoon, I can. I'm so sorry. Um, I can in the October 11th. 
and the in the morning five, five no and the five p.m. only only. Oh no, I can. Sorry, but um, if I... you want the uh, the, uh, the next week, please. Ah, okay, no problem. The next week is good. Thursday. Okay. Okay. Next week. Fatima, it's a genia. Eh, está difícil, se me olvida. Can you meet me? Sí. Can we meet on October 6th at 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. Um, yes. Uh, yes, of course. Okay, Isaac. Isaac. October 6 at 6 a.m. Very early. Madeline, can we meet October? Um, 22nd at the afternoon. 22nd? Yes, of course. I don't have planes. Isaac. So nice, very creative. But que le di así se movió bastante, you know. <laughs> he moved a lot, but that's yes. nice. That's very good. Very good. What time you said? October 2nd in the afternoon. The afternoon at 2 p.m.? Yes. Can we meet on October 10th that, uh, that's 1 p.m.? Oh no, this time I go to the meet uh, of classmates. About um, oh. October 8th in the morning. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have to go the, the father house. October 7th? Father. October 7th in the morning? This is October 7th. Um, he doesn't want to. Yes, of course. <laughs> Porque está la fiesta de Ada con Andrés. Ah, so oh, no, she can't. She can't. <laughs> so, but you can propose, no, but, Sandra, but the, you can propose. The party, the, the party is Saturday. Ah, the no party is Saturday. So, but, sí, but, but Sandra, yes. you can check. Uh -huh. Or si tiene una fecha libre, you can tell her. Right. What about? So what about October 9th? What about October 10th? Uh -huh. um, so you can tell her. In the night, entonces. Night. You have English what classes. My friend. No, ahorita ando perdida. Ahorita ando perdida. That, that, that's emotion that party with my placement of, of English class teacher. To have yeah. a meeting. <laughs> agenda, yeah. agenda is Saturday <laughs> or oh, afternoon. No, no, yeah, but Saturday the afternoon. Good. The afternoon. The afternoon. So the are you having a party? Are you having yeah. a party? <gasps> Invite yeah. me, please. They, they, they organize <laughs> the agenda. <laughs> No. Nice. <laughs> but I say, ah, okay. So you should invite us. You should invite us. Ah, uh, yeah, That's yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Please, uh, debating. Yeah, definitely, guys. Uh, how many do you have? ¿Cuántos tienen? How many do you have? Like five, six, seven, ten. Uh, any. 
Andrés no logró hacer ninguna, miren. No le estoy diciendo porque ella es lo único que me salió a organizar el party del sábado. Uh. <risa> Con todos mis compañeros de la clase de inglés. No even with Jennifer en San Andrés. ¿Quién va a traer qué cosa? Eso no es lo que Eso, Andrés, ninguna. You didn't make any, like, meeting. No, yo, I, yeah, I, I organized I the agenda. Yo, we, I question that that Saturday, the afternoon, it, everybody, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh okay, so everybody, with everybody. Ah, yeah. okay. No, but you got it, you got it. <laughs> okay, everybody, time is over. Let's go back, let's go. Okay. Thanks everybody for coming back. Eh, oh, nos faltan, so hold on, hold on. We are going to wait a couple of seconds. Hello, hello, Milaro. Good night. Hello, ya. Yeah. <laughs> que no habíamos terminado, ¿verdad? Eh? <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> sigamos. <laughs> Can meet on October. Ten at 2 p.m. Repeat, please, Ada. Came with me on October 10 at 2 p.m. Sábado a las 2. A las 2 p.m. Ajá. Uh, uh, no, I am sorry. I What have, about I, I have to, uh, uh, I go to visit clients. Oh. What about the October? Next week? Yes. Yes. Yes, sure. Um, es que solo esta semana nos han dado. <laughs> I gave you this week only. No, but, but, but you know, some of you guys were very smart. Como pensaron, esa semana ya está lleno. It's like, oh, hasta el final de mes. <laughs> no, but that was very nice. Very good activity, guys. I like it because I heard, escuché exactamente ese push in day. Okay, what about? So trying to, trying to get an agreement. So se escuchó bien natural. Nice job, girls. That was very good, very good. <laughs> so guys, I need some volunteers. ¿Quién nos quiere contar de su semana? Who would like to tell us? about the week, all right? ¿Cuáles son las actividades that you have to complete during this week? And when do you have to complete it? Any volunteer? Do I have volunteers? Volunteers. Thank you, Jennifer. I will go with you. <laughs> Jennifer, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Nice, okay, nice, nice. So Jennifer, tell us about your week. In October 7, I meet with Doris at 2 p.m. October 8, I meet Isaac 
in afternoon, October night, um, well, I mean with Madeline mm -hmm. in afternoon, and I we meeting with Adeline in morning at night. I am October ten. I meeting with Milagro in the morning. Okay. And and I go to meet of classmate at one p.m. in October ten. Okay. October eleven. I mean with Veronica in the morning, uh -huh. and I go to dinner with Andres. Okay. Nice. That sounds like a very busy week. Thank you, Jennifer. That was a very good one. You got a lot of meetings. Very nice. Congrats. I like it. Jennifer, choose next person, please. Andres. <laughs> Oh, Andres. Okay, Andres, you're the chosen one. Tell us. Oh, it's very interesting. I want you guys to listen to Andres' activities because he has very interesting ones. Go ahead, Andres. Hello, teacher. <laughs> that uh, my week. We, yes. October 6th, uh, that missing a client, the uh, 8 at 10 p.m. October 7, uh, reviews a contract with a client of afternoon to 2 p.m. Uh, October 8, a meeting with my classmate of diplomat of, of Sunday at 10 p.m. October 9th. Uh, 6 p.m. to go to the supermarket. October 10, a uh, meeting with Avene and Luz, uh, Sandra and Jennifer. Uh, 1 p.m. at lunch. And Ada and Elizabeth <laughs> uh, party with 2 p.m. Everybody that the classmate in English <laughs> and October uh, 11, I watch the DNFL games at uh, dinner with Jennifer. That's very nice. So I got a question about Saturday afternoon. You said that you have a party with the classmates in the English class. Are you inviting yeah. everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Where do we Ada, have to Ada. go? Ada is the Ada organizer. Get, uh, uh, yeah, with Sandra. <laughs> oh, with Sandra. Sandra Beatriz or Sandra Patricia? <laughs> Ada, where do we go? So, where are we meeting? Now, that's a very nice one. Thank you, Andres. Very good organization and very good use of ordinals. Nice. So, Andres, one more person and the last. Select one more person, please. The, uh, Madeline. Okay, Madeline. So, there you go. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, in October 6, I have a meeting with Isaac at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And October 6, at noon, I have a meeting with Nor Doris. We, we will have a lunch. Mm -hmm. In October 9th, I have a meeting with Jennifer at, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. In October 10th, I have a meeting with Sandra at, at 10 a.m. Okay. In October 10, in the afternoon, I have a meeting with Cesar. Okay. In October, in October 11th, Mm -hmm. In the morning, I have a meeting with Doris. Oh, very good. Okay. And you have a lot. The, nice. Yes. In October 11th, in the afternoon, I have a meeting okay. with Harrison. 
in October 11 at night, I have a meeting with Veronica. Okay. And finally, in October 22nd, I okay. have a meeting with Isaac. Oh, yeah, at so. 2 p.m. Nice. Yes. He moved up to October 22nd. Para yes. que le dijera que sí. <laughs> but that was very clever. <laughs> that was very, very smart. Thank you, guys. That was very good. Okay. Uh, solamente un friendly reminder. Como son fechas específicas, remember that we use on. All right. So on uh, to, to make it complete. But super, super good job, everybody. That was very interesting. I have one more uh, exercise for you. Okay, yes, I have one more exercise for you guys. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And uh, this is the use of ordinal versus the use of cardinal. So what you have to do is only select a one number, okay, to complete these spaces, but they can be ordinal or they, they can be a, like, Ordinal, right, to, to talk about the placement, to talk about the order, or they can be cardinal numbers, like one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. I will give you three minutes. Okay, so think a little bit about the possible answers, and when you are ready, let me know. Three minutes. Creo que no hemos entendido, o sí, entendieron. Eh, vamos a escoger, vamos a seleccionar. Eh, ahorita acabamos de ver los eh, ordinal numbers, right? First, second, third. Y los utilizamos no solamente para indicar fechas. Los utilizamos también para uh, indicar fechas específicas, para indicar un placement, para indicar un orden, all right, etc. Y tenemos los otros cardinal numbers que son los que usamos para contar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Lo que vamos a hacer acá es escoger un número. Puede ser cualquier número, all right? Pero es bien importante que identifiquemos la diferencia entre ordinal y cardinal. So, ¿cuál es el, el que podemos utilizar acá? All right? For example, el número, eh, voy a agregar uno más. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add one more example. Hold on. If I tell you my eh, I don't want to be to participate to party my goodness to participate because I get too nervous too nervous Oh, no veo la pantalla. Give me one second. Too nervous. Okay. For example, I got this. I got number one, and this is my example. Okay. So if you take a look at this little example, it says, I don't want to be to participate because I get too nervous. So, ¿qué creen que puedo, ¿cómo puedo completar esa oración? What can I use to complete it? I don't want to be first to participate because I get to nervous. Oh, that's a very good one, exactly. So I don't want to be first. No quiero ser la primera en participar. I don't want to be the first to participate. So, ¿por qué no puedo decir uno? I don't want to be one to participate. Porque la idea es diferente, okay? One es solamente uno, and first es primero. So you have to think, okay? And principalmente tiene que valorar cuál es la respuesta más adecuada, si estaría un número ordinal o un número cardinal. We have breakfast at first o'clock, at second o'clock, at two o'clock, at six o'clock, at seven o'clock, or at eight o'clock, seventh o'clock. So eso es lo que vamos a hacer, escoger si es un número cardinal o un número ordinal, right? Eh, I'll give you like one more minute, okay? Let me know if you need more time, please. Okay, don't Ah, okay. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you so much. Vamos a esperar a los demás. Um, we'll be waiting. Thank you, Doris.
Uh, can we check? Is everybody ready? Ready. Okay, very good. So, uh, number one, ¿quién tiene la primera? We have breakfast at? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Oh, okay. Seven o'clock. Okay, se pusieron de acuerdo, everybody. <laughs> okay, acá no es necesario que le pongamos seven, right? I have breakfast at five, at six, at seven. Pero la idea es que es un número um, cardinal, right? The normal one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Number two, his brother is... First. First in the in okay. First. Ah, estamos hablando de un orden, exactly. First, second, third, fourth, exactly. Very good, very good. Next one. Mark is years old. Two years old. Seven. Ten. Uh -huh. Very good, exactly. Ten. So, yes, yes, very nice. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the... Fields of Fields April. Seven. Very good. Um, First April. of April. I, of April. Fifth of April. Oh, yes. Okay. So, es un uno uh, ordinal. So, so, no puede ser. Is the, the one of April. No se puede. The two of April. No podemos. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Next one. It is only a... Uh, uh, me faltó un espacio. Oh, hold on. <laughs> So I'm so hungry. Me comí un espacio. It is only one dollar. It is only one dollar. It is only yeah, one dollar. It's la única posibilidad porque es singular. It is only one dollar. I'm so happy that he won the second prize. The second prize, the first prize, the third prize. Yeah, very good. Si tienen algo similar, you got it. Excellent job, everybody. That's nice. So remember. Ordinal numbers nos ayudan con fechas, con orden, ok, y con como la, como en qué posición, all right, algo está. Super nice job. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos? Do you have any question? No question? Oh, no. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Good you guys, con eso terminamos. Unit number two. Mañana comenzamos okay. con presente continuo, unidad número tres. Do not miss classes. Gracias a todos por la super puntualidad. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. No se les olvide la tarea. Please don't forget your homework. Bye bye. Bye guys. See you bye -bye. tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Are welcome. Enjoy your night. Thanks. Idem.